Welcome everyone to a new video. This one's kind of a follow-up to the last video I did with the uh, Clean Flash installer. With this phone, it's gonna uh, uh, be a follow-up. This will allow you to play the Dream Chronicles game uh, four and five, and it will allow you to uh, see the videos playing. So if you guys have already seen that video and you're interested in playing the fourth and fifth ones, just follow these instructions and you should be able to get them to play and also, you know, be able to view the cutscenes and the movies from the game. So what we're going to need to install is uh, DG Voodoo 2. So follow the link in the description. Go to this page right here. We're going to download this file right here, which is the latest 2.8.3.1. Then we're going to head over to Major Gigs and download QRES 1.1. The link is right here to get that downloaded. And then we're also going to need... The clean flash installer which is located on this web page just scroll down a bit here to where it says download latest version you're going to click and install that one if you uh didn't see that video just go ahead and look at that one and it'll show you how to get this set up and this will make uh some of the older games that did use the uh the flash player or shockwave uh, will work with this uh, i like i said in the previous video i got the gold miner games to work and also the uh second third fourth and fifth game of the uh dream chronicles but with this step here you'll be able to see the movies in the fourth and the fifth one so once you've gone and got that downloaded go ahead you know and extract that to your folder so what we're going to do here is just go to your folder extract the files and you will see this uh so like i said we're going to need both of these pro programs the easiest way that i do the dg voodoo is just go ahead and put that somewhere on your uh, you know your c drive program files folders and then what you want to do is just go to that location and then just drag the folder over here to the quick access if you don't see the uh, menu just go ahead and click on the little arrow here to the left and that way it'll bring down you know a list of spots for you that you put in there this is uh super cool to use because you can get to stuff right away without having to look on the uh right side of the pane to look for the physical folder itself so you would just grab it you know and download it where it says pin to quick access let it go and then it'll make a location for you as you can see i already have it here so what we're going to do is just go ahead and jump into the folder that has uh, those two games and i will show you how to get the videos working for those All right, so let's go ahead and dump, jump into Dream Chronicles, the Book of Air. So I'm just going to open up that folder. Now you can already see the files are in here. So you're basically just going to take your DigiVoodoo files and put them in here from your uh, folder. So you can just click on there, Control A to select everything, copy, Control C, and then we can Alt or Control V and paste them right in there, or just drag and drop them onto the folder. I won't do that because, like I said, it's already done on here. Once you have those on there, we're going to go ahead to the next step here. We're going to need the QRES file. So go into your folder. You're going to see this QRES.exe right there. So just copy that into your folder. As you can see, I've already done that there. And then the step to get that to work, that's going to get the game to go to the full screen. You know, the game natively runs at 1024 by 768. So what we're going to do is make a file for that to launch the game with those settings. So what you want to do on here, I've already created one, but what you're going to do is right click. We're going to click on new, uh, new text document. And then we're going to go in there and we're going to paste this in. I am going to link this to the description so you'll, you'll be able to paste that right into the folder. Now, word of caution with this, this will not work. The name that you see on here was not the default name for the file. It does need to have, uh, you know, the name created with no spaces. So you're going to change the uh, .exe to look like this. So there's no spaces in between the, the name. All right, so we're going to go ahead and you'll, you'll copy it from the description, but I'm going to go ahead and copy here to show you guys. So once you've done that, you've copied that info, go ahead into your new tag file. You're going to open that and paste all that stuff in there. Once you've done, again... You want to make sure that you rename the uh, game executable to this. You can name it this or whatever you want. Just make sure that, you know, you're sure it's the uh, Dream Chronicles Book of Air. But you want to make sure there's no spaces. So you can either just, you know, type the whole thing together or space them out with this underscore here or a dash. But make sure there are no spaces because if there is for some reason, it will not work. 
So once you have that in there, what we're going to do is go ahead and save the file. So we're going to click on File. We're going to click Save As. And we're going to make sure that down here you have the All Files option selected. And you're going to call that file whatever you want. Now we're going to change that doc text to .bat for batch file. And then once you have that saved, that's you can see it saved that as a batch file right there. So that's the one we just created. And as you can see, that mimics this one just with the exception of the title. So you can name this whatever you want, but inside where you put the info, make sure, like I said earlier, that everything has no spaces. And you're going to copy this from the, uh, you know, links description. Once you have that done, you should be able to launch the game from that shortcut with no problem. Now, in order to see the movies, we're going to need to configure DG Voodoo here. So let's just launch this here real quick. You're more than likely going to see it in a smaller window because of the resolution that I'm capturing it. But as you can see, the audio is working. The video is playing. So if I were to go in here and start a new game, you will be able to... Uh, to see the videos because I've already fixed it in the DG Voodoo. So we'll just say new. And as you can see, the videos are playing. I had a dream. And then when you want to jump out of the game, just you know escape out of the game and you want to hit enter twice to close that window. And that will close the uh, you know the QRES batch file and bring your desktop back to what it was before. And then another quick tip on that, whatever resolution you're running your computer at that you want it to go back to once you exit out of the game, you're gonna wanna put that in here. So if your resolution is 38 by 40, you wanna put that in here. And then the 21 by 60 would be here. And then save the file with that information. You can leave it like this as long as you name the file the same thing and you're using the 1920 by 10 resolution, you can leave the file you know, file words as they are here. If not, just change them to whatever you have on your, you know, the end of your computer. So let's go back into that file again, and we're going to change what we're going to do the settings for the uh, DG Voodoo. So we'll jump right back in there. And once we're in there, we're going to head, uh, go ahead and right click on DG Voodoo properties. You want to make sure that they're set in uh, run this property or run this program as administrator. So go ahead and make sure that's just checked. Once you've done that, just jump back in there again. And what we're going to do is go over here to the settings here. So on output API, you want to set it to software. If you set this to anything else, it will more than likely not show you the movies. It might not affect the gameplay, but you won't be able to see the, uh, the videos themselves or the cutscenes. So if you want to see the cutscenes, you want to go ahead and make sure the output API says uh, DirectX 11 MS Warp software. And then this you pretty much want to leave as it is here, capture mouse. You're going to go to DirectX and uh, I have the GeForce here, but I'm pretty sure, you know, it can more or less uh, work with any of those video settings, but you know, that'll be up to you what you want to put on there. So once that's set, this part here, you want to make sure it says 1024 by 768 is that is the uh, native resolution of the game. So you want to make sure that's set to 1024 by 768. You can leave these options here checked. Uh, if you do like uh, scan lines, you can go ahead and pick this right here. And that'll create the scan lines for you when you launch the game. And then, like I said, this settings here, and you should be good to go. So that should be it for, you know, as far as getting the uh, game to run with the videos uh, and getting it to run on a uh, newer computer. The game should run on Windows 7 fine. I have not tested it on Windows 11, but it will work with uh, Windows 10. As long as you follow these instructions with those programs, you'll be able to get it to go full screen at 1024 by 768. And you should also be able to make the movies play. The first game you can run with just a right click on the executable that runs the game and setting that to uh, Windows uh, 98 and ME compatibility and it'll play with that. The second and third games also work fine like that. But the fourth and fifth ones, you need the 
uh, programs that I just showed you to get to play with the movies. Hey guys, just a quick note here. I forgot to mention this in my haste here. Uh, when you do paste the files for the DG Voodoo into the game location, you want to make sure that you don't forget this step. You want to go into the MS folder, the x86 folder, control A to select all of those, control C to copy, and then we are going to paste that in the main directory of where the game is at. So you want to make sure you do not forget, uh, you know, forget the step or it will not work. But once you're done with that, you should be good to go. So that is it for this one. So if you guys make use of that video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And we will catch you guys on the next video. Have a great day.